This quick Dot3D tutorial will cover the capabilities available to you in the Annotate tab in the latest release of Dot3D for Android or Windows devices. In particular, we are currently running the latest version, Dot3D 4.1.6. As you see here on the screen, we have a quick sample scan that was captured and cropped of a floor, ceiling, and a cylinder. Uh, you'll notice there was an April tag utilized in this case, an April tag Q, but for all intents and purposes, this could also have just been a single April tag on the floor for basic loop closure. Now that we've captured our data set, we're going to go through each capability you have at your disposal in the Annotate tab. So I'll select Annotate. And the first button that you want to press is Add slash Detect. Now you choose where you want to add an annotation or a note to in your scan. So let's say I wanted to add a particular annotation to the corner of the tile here. I click and hold or tap and hold on a touchscreen device and then I get this zoom window up top and I can move around until I'm happy with the exact point that I'm selecting in the top right and then release. Then next the annotation tab will ask you what kind of annotation you want to make. So we'll start with the most uh, basic and standard annotation type which is a point annotation. So I will select point and insert that I'm going to be naming this the corner tile, any caption name you'd like to add. You can go left and right here through different fields. So if there's a web link of relevance, you could add that as well or a description. So this is the corner or anything else along those lines. You can even attach a latitude longitude point of reference here. If you're happy with the fields you've filled out, you press OK, and that annotation now shows up in your scene. If you tap on it, it'll give you the XYZ location of that annotation, or if you double tap on it, it will minimize it, and you can pull it back up at any time by double tapping or double clicking. The next type of annotation that we have is a plane annotation. So if I do add slash detect, click and hold, and select that I want to annotate to this entire floor plane, then I press plane. And that's not annotating necessarily to a particular point, but to the entire plane itself. And if I click on that annotation, it'll give me the surface area and whatever units I have set, which can be managed from the settings tab. We can also do another plane annotation to the ceiling in the same manner and get the surface area there. The next type of annotation that we have is the cylinder annotation, which is of course why we in particular captured this support column here in this quick sample scan. So I'll hold on the column and then press cylinder and it'll automatically recognize that cylinder. If I click on it, it will also give me the diameter and length of pipe as measured in dot 3D. Uh, to pull accurate measurements from the cylinder annotation capability, please make sure you've captured as much of the cylinder circumference as you possibly can. Lastly, we have our photo annotation feature. So I'll press add slash detect, and then this is to a point, same as a point annotation would be. So just for sample purposes, let's say we want to attach to the April tag here, press and hold, and then you select the photo option. And I'll just attach a picture of a DPI-10 in this case, call it DPI-10, showing what was utilized to capture this. You have the same fields at your disposal if you want to fill in any more details, web link, etc. And then press OK. And now you see that there is actually an image annotation that shows up here. And if you tap on it, it'll bring up your caption. And if you double click, it'll minimize. And if you hold, it'll bring up that high resolution photograph. So it's a very useful capability if you're capturing uh, separate HD photographs of your scan area, you can attach them all into your compressed DP file here in Doc3D. Lastly, you may have noticed that when you go to add slash detect, there is a more option. And uh, there's nothing there currently, but there's a reason for that. So if I go to settings, Photos and Annotations, Setup Annotation Classes. You have the ability to create your own custom annotation classes. So if you wanted to create a traditional point um, type annotation, 
but set up your own particular fields uh, so you can add uh, additional fields, customize what should be filled in. You can do all of that from right here within Dot3D and save it to your particular installation of Dot3D. So it can be a very powerful option for particular applications and specific field deployments of Dot3D. Lastly, before we finish up here, there's one important feature to note that you can take advantage of based off of these plane annotations. So if I go to my measure tab, you of course can always measure from any point to point within your scan. But because you've made those plane annotations, you can also measure from those planes perpendicularly. So if I press and hold on the floor, you'll notice you see this green indicator that there is a plane I can measure from here. If I release, you can either measure from the selected point or from the selected plane. So in this case, we'll measure from the plane and then I'll arbitrarily select right here and now move around. You'll see anywhere I take this um, measurement is going to be pulled exactly perpendicularly out of that plane. So it can be really helpful with clearance measurements from a wall to an object, uh, et cetera, things along those lines. Lastly, there is one other measurement capability you can take advantage of from your annotations, which is measuring from an annotation to an annotation. So if I move over, you'll see that this photo annotation is recognized. It pops up there. So I'm going to hold on that point and release and then select that I want to measure from my DPI 10 image. Then I can drag down and from that very first corner tile, I'll highlight that and select that I want to measure from the corner tile. Now it is giving me a measurement directly from those two particular points that were annotated to earlier. Lastly, you do have the option to manage your annotations by pressing the manage button. And as you can select them from the side tab, um, turn the visibility on or off, edit them or delete them from here. You also can export your annotations to a JSON file this way as well. That covers a brief tutorial on the annotation capabilities. For more information, please visit dotproduct3d.com.